Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at completing the daily challenges for today, Tuesday, April the 9th, 2024. Before we begin our usual daily challenge video, we are right down here in Point Pleasant, where hopefully we'll be able to take part in the second week of the Mothman Equinox. Go ahead and wait around for that, should be uh, popping up here any uh, second there now. Have some folks around. Gather, stuff. children. There we go. The time draws near. Climb to his throne and let us discuss the details of the ritual. Maybe at the same time we'll see what dailies we get because I know last week or this past week, the odd day, we'd be getting uh, kill five <laughs> albino rat stag during the Mothman Equinox and uh, kill 10 cultists during the Mothman Equinox, kind of like a a different different daily challenge we had a couple times through this past week. So uh, let's take a look here, see if they've uh, popped up there. They're popping up there now. Pretty cool seeing that, Dane. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much it. Let's uh, go ahead and Take a look at these here. I may, may be able to kill a couple creatures here in terms of the death claws that show up. But uh, for the most part, uh, nothing really out of the ordinary. Stuff. Wait for someone to speak with the uh, with Clarence there. And uh, get this party started sometime soon. We have a few people here, which is pretty cool. <laughs> This is my Mothman Hunter uniform. This was called this check. Harold Jim. Yeah. Mothman Children, Hunter outfit and listen hat. Well. Three pyres have been placed throughout the wise one's home. Their light is a vital catalyst to our ritual. Had this out for, for quite some time the at the Bite and Shop. have attempted to contain our light. One of the few Destroy outfits I've actually bought. Destroy their minds <laughs> encircling each pyre before we proceed. Is it Marlin? Quiet. Each pyre is attended by a wise one's observer. Only this when cat. the vines have been destroyed will the observers instruct you on your next task. Hurry now, children. His patience does not run as deep as his wisdom. They are watching! What are those infernal totems? Right. They must be destroyed. I will tell them. Destroy those blasted totems! See? I told them. Huh, I was gonna say, geez, how come I can't pick the blood off that cat? Blood in the trough. Got some totems. Oh, there's the totem out. I've already got that one already. <laughs> As I'm talking. Sometimes there is a, uh... One of those uh, cultist prophets in here sometimes, not all the time, but they'll just kind of pop up inside the building, so keep an eye out for them. Try this building here, and they won't show up, they're just kind of hidden. They're kind of hanging out, kind of hiding from everyone. The ritual site had been prepared. Oh, that's pretty the quick, guys. The summoning wow. shall commence. That is Once fast. Each these, of the <laughs> these guys mean business reaped. today. <laughs> Go, ignite wow. the flames as I Impressive. release the dust of our wise one into the air. Ah, yes. 
the flames of our pyres ignite the moth dust. It offers enlightenment, however brief it may here. be. Breathe, children! Breathe! See the world now through his eyes, children. <laughs> Let the dust and flames and fumes feel you. Let it soak into your throats. Let it show you the truth. But prepare yourselves, for the heretic Jim Bonds will be enraged by this vision. <laughs> the reality of our wise one will send them into a frenzy. Yep, right on. You must protect our sacred lights, the pyres, from those wretched fiends. Without the fire's glow, our guest may refuse our invitation. The dim ones approach the church. Slay them, children. Offer no quarter. The bridge's path is there. the heretic's next target, children. <laughs> you must keep it safe. The heretics bring foul brutes with them. Let not your eyes deceive you. All you see before you must die. No matter its shape, man or beast, these twisted shadows will serve so the will of make the it, false uh, ones. Credit for these being creatures, killing them. I killed creature four. Okay. I could swear there's only two of them, but. Oh, I suppose we killed those rat stakes. Those rat stakes would be considered creatures, so yeah. Yeah. Two rat stakes and two death claws, as long as you can get a, a bullet to land on them. <laughs> the yeah, I think uh, you get credit for it. The waterside fire, children. You must protect it. These unwavering stuff attack from all sides. Leave no pyre unguarded. Leave no heretic Whoa. left standing. <laughs> Just keep counting up there. Get him in the face. Uh, B star legendary cultist seeker over here. <laughs> See what we get from that person. This guy's down over the embankment. Heads around. Is this guy still around? That's someone else. Another moth man. Level up, baby. <laughs> Count down the uh, seconds here, so get going. There, the Mothman's following us. Do you feel it? The wise one draws near. He awaits our signal. <gasps> Quickly, children, return to me upon the museum's rooftop. Every day, this event we gets done quicker and quicker. It's amazing. To show him our love and our gratitude. <laughs> wise Mothman. You have accepted our invitation. 
And of course, Keishuke just didn't know. You just go up and touch the Mothman like this. You feel enlightened by the presence of the Vice Mothman. And what you do is you open up your stats over to effects. And then you'll see, see there's this true wisdom of the Mothman. 59 minutes. Bonus XP plus 15%. So again, it was my subscriber, Kip, who had mentioned that, so I thought I'd always kind of include that into these videos. And, uh, hopefully he's going to be okay. <laughs> what do we got here? We'll get some wood scraps. All right, um, let's go ahead here and let's take a look-see what we got under new items. Oh, we got a plan. We got a fuzzy... Mothman plushie. Okay, good stuff. So we get the other plushie already. So we, you could check out that video. I think it was the Enlightened uh, plushie. You take a look at that video that I made maybe a couple days ago. That's pretty cool. Drop these. I'm going to need these. Drop that. And uh, we'll sell that off. Okay, let's uh, go ahead here. Jump. I can run and jump here. There we go. Grab our stuff. <coughs> Albino, uh, or Alpha. <laughs> Albino. Alpha Deathclaw, the uh, skull there. Okay, let's go ahead and go and. Oh, we got an Exterminator's Metal Chest Piece, three star from that enemy back there. Pick up some ammo. Uh, let's, yeah, let's pick the stuff up here. The ballistic fiber scrap from those Mothmen. So that's pretty awesome. This black titanium, very useful to have as well. Let's see what else we got here. Loose gears are always good to have. Some stim packs. Uh, torn Mothman wing, pretty good for ballistic fiber. Go ahead and grab that. I think that's it. I think that's pretty much everything here in this area. Yeah. All right, good stuff. Event complete. The Mothman Equinox. So we're going to go on our second week here. And uh, I was kind of afraid because sometimes in the past, the, the second week hasn't been so popular. But uh, that's, that's pretty good. <clears throat> pretty good. Let's go ahead here. We're going to go to a train station. We're going to script the stuff off. Maybe they just uh, get some of this weight off us here. There we go. Okay, let's uh, head back to our camp. Right. And uh, in fashion, just because of these uh, videos here, we're getting attacked. Maybe uh, its name doesn't realize it. <laughs> Let's go ahead. We're going to go to a private server. I just find for me making these videos, it's a lot better. And um, I think it's a lot smoother when I'm on a private uh, adventure making these videos. I can, when, I'm, when I'm looking for a particular mob or enemy, they're there and such. I'm not competing with with everyone else on the same server. Those guys in that server mean business. <laughs> Tell you what. Yeah. They are in tune with their star player. <laughs> yes, sir. A pretty cool looking uh, picture there. Overgrown elder. Of course, I have everything in the uh, video time stamped, so just in case you're new to the channel, you don't have to watch every little second. Everything's time stamped to serve everyone better. All right, let's go ahead here. Let's take a look, see what we got. All right, good stuff. Good stuff. So we were able to 
collect some caps here, so that's pretty cool. Be able to kill a creature. If we were, um, if I was kind of wanting to do it in that part of the video, we would have done it, I think. I think there was enough for 12 creatures, but anyway. All right, let's go ahead here. There's not a whole lot we could do here in our camp. Not a lot at all. Yeah, all right, let's go ahead. We're going to hack a Terminal 1. So I have many videos that are out there, a lot of older videos, as long as you can pass the uh, the bad audio quality, because I'm using my old equipment. I have several videos out there where I show you some places where there is level zero requirement terminal. Now you can you can uh, hack any terminal in the game, any level. I usually go for the level zero requirement for these videos because they don't require perk cards, okay? Anyone will be able to, even if you're brand speaking you right out of the vault. Uh, one of the best places for a terminal is right here at the land view lighthouse let's pop over here i think this one here was one of my first videos for hacking a terminal now there's going to be a couple uh, scorched but it's a fairly easy area or sorry a couple ghouls around we may have to take care of some of them that's fine You can get him from here. A killer creature. Right on. As you see, ghouls are also considered creatures. So right here in this white house here. I'm going to open up the door. Close the door behind us. There's going to be a rad roach upstairs here. So let's take care of him. He's right there. All right, good stuff. So the terminal in question is this one right here. Now you see, as you see, required skill zero. And I always kind of do these ones here for the video because you don't need any perk cards. And what I mean by that is when you open up your pet boy, and then you go to your perk cards, right? Under perception will be a uh, pick lock, okay? And then down here under intelligence will be hacking. And uh, as you can see, I don't have anything, anything, uh, any perk cards here. But I do have a legendary perk card. It's called Master Infiltrator. It's a two-star auto unlock skill one terminals and locks. Plus three lock pick and hacking skill. So I've been using this one here for a while and I highly recommend once when you get into legendary perk cards, like it's uh, at level 50, I highly recommend this guy because you don't, you won't have to waste a space in your special putting on those perk cards and taking them off. Just having this perk card on, you know, come up as, as you can see there, auto unlock. Okay. Highly recommend that card. Let's go ahead. Just like that. <laughs> Hack a terminal one for one. Done. Just like that. Now, this is a very popular spot. Just going to mention. So if you don't have Fallout First and you're limited to uh, public service with other people, this is a very popular spot. A lot of times if you come here, heh, this might already be hacked. Okay. Uh, but another uh, level zero required uh, hacking skill or hacking terminal is right down here. It's in the Charleston Herald. And if, uh, if I have a video on it there and make your way up a couple couple flights of stairs there and uh, you don't come across any enemies you do but you can sneak your way through very easily like I've done in the video and uh, there'll be a level zero requirement up there as well or if you have the hacking you don't have a lot of hacking perk cards you don't want to do that any terminal will do basically all right what's next here Jim what is next here harvest a wild plant or fungi 12 Okay. Now you guys have seen me do many videos and uh, so basically do it all the time at least once a week at least but a real good spot for uh, plants in terms of crops is right here at the uh, Silva Homestead. All kinds of corn on the hill down here at Billings Homestead. All kinds of razor grain okay, in the field. Right up here Cobbleton, uh, sorry, Cobbleton Farm right up here. All kinds of crops up there as well. Uh, right down here, you can roll on tour in the tunnel of love. You don't have to wait for the event to go on. You can just go right in. All kinds of glowing fungus there. Rusty pick. Again, brain fungus. There's, there's all kinds of spots. Uh, but where I'm going to take you here today, it's a real easy spot. Right down here in the forest. Good old Silva Homestead. Let's pop over here. Right, so if you're legitimately looking to pick 
uh, vegetables and such. Let's say you're a herbivore. Uh, there's a perk card that'll help you out with that. It'll be under perception. It's called Green Thumb Reef Trace as much when harvesting flora. So if you're a herbivore, definitely a must have. But see, even if you're a carnivore like myself, you can even have it equipped or have it in your back pocket anyway. It's a really useful card to have just more so for doing the other challenges. So instead of picking up one corn, you pick up two. All right, such. Oh, wow, uh, these ones here look like they're empty. So as you can see, to see how two corn are added. We're gonna go ahead, we're just gonna go around and pick up what we need here. And as you can see, crops will also count towards this daily. As in, you know, these are considered wild plants as well. There we go. Harvest of wild plants are funky, 12 for 12. You'll find a lot of glowing fungus in around this area as well, all along here, okay? All down through uh, Flatwoods in that river, all kinds of <laughs> flora. So yeah, that one there is a real easy one to complete. All right, what's next here? Collect wood, 20. So many great spots for wood, especially right here in the forest region. Uh, down trees and such, uh, wood is very easy to come by, okay? Uh, there's a spot right over here in Helvetia where Fashnak goes on in that yellow house right on the corner. Uh, just outside, it's like a kind of half-made kind of shed. Uh, there is full, it's full of wood in there. And you can just uh, fill your boots with that as well. That's a great spot. And it being part of the forest all along that back end right up to that white uh, church. All kinds of down trees and all kinds of wood to be picked up. Uh, but one of the best spots to pick up and collect wood is right up here at Prickett's Fork. Let's pop up here today. But if you can't make your way up here, definitely all around the forest, again around Flatwoods, <laughs> you'll be able to, right? All you gotta do is you just, uh, if you're just very new to the game, or you don't have much time, uh, right here, just park yourself here at the Wayward, go across the street, make your way down the stream towards Flatwoods, walk, go across the stream and go right back up to the uh, Wayward, and you'll have all kinds of wood. All kinds of wood. All right, so we're going to head up here, Prickett's Fork. This is like a one-stop shop for wood. It's all, like, it's it's amazing. It's amazing the stockpile of wood here. It's right up here. Look at all this wood just sitting here. A bunch of wood over there as well. Uh, a lot of these buildings will have uh, fireplaces, and inside the fireplaces will also be wood that you can gather and pick up. Uh, now, a, a prayer card that'll help you out, not so much for the daily challenge, okay? Uh, but a prayer card that'll help you out to collect wood, let's say you're building a camp or something like that, and you need a lot of wood under perception, or sorry, not under per perception, under luck. Go down here, Jim. Go all the way to the end. It's called wood check. Collect twice as much when harvesting wood. So, basically, when you have this equipped, let's say you normally pick up, you know, anywhere from, you know, two to four wood when you harvest one. Uh, this will be double that, so it'll be like, you know, four to eight, right? It just, it really adds up. It's a really good card to have in your back pocket. Uh, we're going to go ahead here. We're just going to spam the gather button. Used to be collect, I'm pretty sure. It's weird. I would grab that uh, thing there, too. Gathering as much wood as we can. As I said, there we go. <laughs> Like with 20 for 20 done just like that all right good stuff easy peasy and there's all kinds of there's there's even more that we you know we could have picked up here pretty awesome and then over there inside these fireplaces right up here Prickett's Fort one of the best spots for collecting wood just just in this one location you don't have to go far what's next here what is next Okay, go ahead, this one here, Scrap Pre-War Money 5. So I made a video, a dedicated video, and I think it was, it's right around an hour long. And uh, I show you some great farming and locations for pre-war money. And um, we were very successful in that video. Everything is time-stamped, and, and I, I mean, not that long ago. I'm thinking maybe three and a half months ago. And uh, you can go ahead and check out that video if you so wish. Uh, we're gonna check out some pre-war money here today place we're going to go is right here in good old uh, Morgantown Airport. Actually, 
You know what? We're, we're up here. Let's go to Wavy Wilder's Water Park. Let's pop up here. Now, hopefully, we'll be here. It's been a little while, so hopefully the game would have reset by now. But if not, we'll go down to Morgantown. <laughs> uh, just as an FYI for when you're looking for pre-war money, if you're looking for just a small amount, um, you know, when you come across uh, corpses that you can kind of open their pocket, basically, uh, a lot of them, a lot of corpses will have pre-war money on them. If you go do the expeditions, a lot of the human enemies will have pre-war money, like that, in Atlantic City. So there we go. <laughs> we just finished off another one there. As you saw pop up. Kill a creature 12, 12 for 12, but we'll get to that here in a second. <laughs> just kind of wanted to kind of do it at a time. We'll explain it, but you guys can see it popping up. That's why I track it. You guys can see it popping up on the screen with me. <laughs> Alright, so once when you're here, you're just going to go around the corner to this blue door. And there's a couple cash registers in here, so pre three pre-war money. So when you're picking up pre-war pre money, a lot of times it really depends on the server. Alright, so someone could already have been here, picked it up. Now, another good tip is uh, any safe in the game. Any safe will have uh, pre-war money when you unlock it. And uh, so just an FYI. Oh, and there's fairly easy. As you see there, 11 pre-war money just like that, guys. Oh, how you doing? Where did you come from? Where did he come from? Look, he just, uh... <laughs> came through the ceiling. I don't know. Weird. All right, so right there. So this this one little office is a great spot for pre-war money. Uh, so now we need to scrap it. We can go to uh, any workstation at all, workbench. Let's go to crafting station, and uh, we'll scrap it. Right, let's go here. Burp. We can go to our camp, wherever there's a uh, a workbench. Let's go ahead and go scrap. Let's scrap that pre-war money we picked up. Done. Scrap pre-war money five for five. Just that one little room is a real good spot just for the uh, the smaller dailies like this one here. Okay. Or you could check out that video and I show you. We got a lot of pre-war money, like a lot. <laughs> All right, what's next here? Let's go ahead. Uh, Cripple Super Mutant's Arm 2. So we're talking about Cripple Super Mutant's Arm. We can either free aim or we can use VATS. I prefer to use VATS when I cripple. Uh, just because they like to kind of move around and hide behind objects and such. But for me, most times I like to use VATS. When you're using VATS and you're crippling... There's a perk card under Perception. It's called Concentrated Fire. It allows you to move your vats around from head, torso, arms, and legs. Okay. In this case here, for these Super Mutants, we're going to go for the arm. Okay. Uh, I find Ballistic Weapons work very good. Uh, bow and Arrow works really good. The Plasma Caster works well. Uh, there's a lot of Energy Weapons that don't for some reason. Uh, for me, anyway, as you guys have seen in my videos. Uh, if you're using a Shotgun Enforcer... Enforcer per card under agility that will uh, that does a really good job. We tried that out there last week in the weekly challenge video based on a couple of suggestions that people have made and it worked really well. Uh, so we just happened to be here in Grafton and uh, this is a good spot for a lot of super mutants. So let's go ahead. All we need is one. If we do it right, uh, left arm and right arm is all that we need. Uh, but many great spots for some super mutants sitting around the uh, the wasteland. Super Mutants, of course, uh, New Gad, a uh, very popular spot. Uh, you'll find Super Mutants just kind of randomly walking around in groups of three or four in the forest. Uh, right here, Grafton Dam, great spot for Super Mutants. Uh, Grafton Steel, there's like, you could probably get 30 of them there if you wanted to. Okay, for some easier areas. Right, let's go here. We got Protest March Quest, where we just spawned this in. We're not going to bother with that. There's our super mutant there. Let's get up on this. Uh... Alright, left arm. Left arm, let's go for the right arm now. 
There we go. All we need is one super mutant. If you do it right, if you, if you do it in two, that's fine. Depends on the weapon that you're using, but uh, all we needed was one, one super mutant there. Left arm, right arm. And uh, so, you know, pretty easy. I don't know where that other guy went. He disappeared. Face the earth there, I think. But uh, we'll get up on this route just in case he comes from behind something to get us in the back or something like that. You know what super mutants are like. All right, what's next here? All right, so let's take a look here. Okay, kill a creature 12 for 12. So creatures, we're just going to talk about this one here. Uh, you guys have seen it pop up in the video, and we have talked about it at the very beginning of the video when we were doing the Mothman Equinox. So creatures are considered like anything but a human and a robot. Okay, so insects, uh, animals, ghouls, scorched, super mutants, mall miners, cryptids, death claws, as you saw in the video. Okay, Mothman, you know, they're all considered creatures. As you saw when I was just been playing this game during this short time of this video, you saw it kind of pop up, kill a creature. Okay, so basically, you know, if you want to go after some scorch, you can come over here to Tyler County Fairgrounds, right? If you want to uh, take care of some ghouls, you can go through Morgantown. Or there's all kinds of patches of ghouls all through Morgantown. A pretty big city, you know, patches of four or five uh, ghouls through there. You know, super mutants, you can just kind of go through Grafton where we're at now. We're super mutants. Uh, mole miners, you know, you can go to Monadga or down in Welsh. And, uh, but there's many places, uh, if you're looking after creatures, right? Go right down here to Flatwood. Let's say you're, uh, level 10. Right down through, uh, Flatwood, you got all those creatures, those possums, a couple, uh, mole rats, ramen, right? And, uh, kill them and they are considered creatures. Okay. So there you guys go. That's, I uh, give you guys some good ideas there. Last but not least, we have this one here, collect caps. So 250 worth of caps. So I uh, was asked uh, yesterday in a comment there if I can make a video on my favorite ways to collect caps. I have like a bunch of older videos that I made. They're a little rough, of course, with the older equipment, with the audio, uh, but they're still valid today. And I still use uh, those methods today. Uh, you know, waiting around for someone to come to your vendor to buy stuff from you, you know what I mean? Or you can do uh, events, right? Events will give you caps as well and uh, and such. But if you are um, don't have a whole lot of time for that, what you can do, there's a couple of good spots that I'd like to go. And one of those spots is right here, Morgantown Airport. More so because it's close to Morgantown Station with the vendor bot. You go through Morgantown Airport, and if you're lucky enough to spawn in collision course okay so you got all those scorched at Morgantown airport all the scorched that will show up for the collision course event you get all the weapons you get all the armor you don't need to you know waste a carry weight booster just walk over to Morgantown station and sell them all to the vendor bot okay uh same thing down here in Wells exact same method basically just because you're close to a train station all the mole miners down here have missile launchers shotguns there's armor just kind of laying around pick all that stuff up walk up to the station and sell it all to the vendor bot now the main thing when you have a daily or a weekly where it says collect caps so you see uh your max amount of caps is forty thousand caps if you see at the bottom right hand corner of the screen on my playthrough, I have 39,635. So we have room. But let's say if I let's say I was maxed out 40,000 caps. I would not be able to complete this daily until I made room for those 250 caps for me to collect. You understand? So you need to have the room in your purse to collect caps for it to count. Okay? And another thing that we have been using in the past, you guys will come across uh, some videos of mine. Uh, those vi <laughs> those videos are still somewhat valid, I guess. But in the past, we would use the past scoreboards because on the scoreboards, there would be anywhere from 10 to 12 areas where you can collect caps, but uh, not so much anymore. Everything's been kind of grouped together, but this would still work. This one here, see, it says, you know, like caps, you know, 5,000 for 10 tickets. If I did that, it would count towards the daily weekly challenge because I am collecting caps off this, you know, this is the season pass now, but 
used to be off a scoreboard. You could check those videos out if you uh, need a better explanation, but uh, and now I show you a proof in the video. But uh, that's another way, but I'm going to claim that some other time. But what we're going to do here in this video is uh, we will go to Morgantown. Excuse me. All right, so we have the train station right there. Here is the uh, Morgantown Airport. We're going and we're going to take care of all the scorched. And we're going to go ahead and do this. Now you can go ahead and do events if you so wish. You'll get caps from events. It uh, really depends on the event that you're doing. Uh, daily quests will also give you caps. And if you're looking to do those, I have a couple. I have a own separate video on my channel where I uh, complete events for newbies, complete daily quests, and each video is just a little bit more than an hour long. The yeah, hour picking up the ammo, but we're also picking up the weapons. Okay, that's very important. Oh, how you doing, bud? This isn't here, bud. I'll be just relax. And I wouldn't really worry about uh, being overweight because we have a train station just right there. Now, if you come across chems or stuff that you don't pick up, same thing. There's usually a pipe rifle here from this guy. See, he has got pre-war money on him. And that's what I mean by a corpse. If you come across a corpse like this, a lot of times I'll have pre-war money on. Pick up that weapon. Now, if you have an excess amount of chems on your person, and you want to get rid of them, that's another way you can do it as well. You can just sell that stuff. Oh. Just bits and pieces there. Doesn't matter. That, it doesn't matter the type of weapon as long as you're picking it up. All right. So sometimes when you go down there, uh, you can spawn in the event yourself. Collision course. You guys have seen me do that many a times. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can try to get away with this without having to do that. There's a bunch of scorched over here as well. weapon is so powerful. I'm not getting a whole lot of good weapons here. Like, getting weapons, but not a lot of good ones. Let's get some stuff here. This right away with a bunch of uh, stuff here we can sell in here. Bunch of chems. You can actually go inside the uh, the terminal itself. There should be a bunch of scorched in there as well. So, <laughs> no weapon at all. Of course not. stuff okay so this is just an example of just one place but i prefer this place or welsh just because we have a train station right there okay so you don't have to worry about if you're overweight you can just you know walk or make your way over because you can't fast travel if you're overweight okay we're gonna go inside here now there's something else that will help us out when we were selling this stuff to the uh, vendor bot there's a couple perk cards here one per car. It's called Hard Bargains under Charisma. 
by selling price that non-player vendors are now much better. Okay. Under aid, there'll be great mentats plus five charisma and better barter rates for 10 minutes. Okay, that's another option as well. Go ahead. All right, let's go ahead and trade with this cat. And other supplies go to the weapons section here. there because that's what we picked up and we'll pick up all the weapons we got off the scorched. Once upon a time, you guys would know, using the scoreboard, that was de definitely my favorite way of collecting caps. Supplies. It's because how we're using be uh, a resource that the game gives us, and we didn't have to leave our camp, but um, that's a lot different there now, because we only have the one spot for caps now as compared to a bunch of, bunch of them. All right, so let's go here. We're going to sell this here as well. So we sold all the, uh, the weapons that we picked up. Trade. Let's go down Supply here to aid and equipment. Sell this buff out. Sell this psycho buff. This rad X. Uh, let's go ahead and sell some rad away. We definitely don't need that much rad away. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll sell uh, 20 of them. Now trading for supplies. Done. Collect caps. Just like that. Gear. Just like that, guys. Easy. And you do the exact same thing when you're down here in Welsh. And I, I, I choose these two spots just because how it's just so close to a train station. You don't need the fast travel. You just walk up. All right. I think we're done. Are we done? We are. Look at that. Just like that, guys. Just like. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to catch up there. Oh, okay, I think we're done now. Perfect. There you, guys, there you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffin, Heather, White Tribe, Starwin138, Rob Cole. Thank you all so very much. And I hope you all have a nice day.